You caught me off guard. Howdy, partners. This is Mr. Tidmarsh, and we're doing our first Tuck In Tuesday, um, and I'm super excited to be here. Uh, first story we're going to be reading is called The Day Dirt Yeller Came to Town. It's one of my favorite stories. It brings a tear to my eye every time I read it. Let's get started. <clears throat> the day Dirt Yeller came to town, the wind curled its lips, cattle quit lowing, and tumbleweeds stopped tumbling along. Townsfolk whispered, He starts stampedes. He holds up trains. He's trouble. But I reckon Dirt Yeller had come at a good time, cause I just hit a home run through a window. Paul always said, Sam, you're a world old trouble and curious as a tomcat. So when Dirt Yeller trompled into the post office, I dropped my broom to follow. He's a big partner, I see. I'm looking for something, the outlaw growled to take away my cat scratch fever. His fingers were itching and a twitching. The postmaster backed away, but I wasn't worried. Sometimes I was fidgety too. The postmaster stampered. Try some calming elixir from the general store. At the general store, merchandise went a-flying. I'm looking for something, Dirk Yeller said, to keep a coyote from baying at the moon. Miss Peterson drew her children close. Have mercy! But I wasn't scared. Sometimes I felt a little wild, too. Why, just yesterday, I dropped a toad down the back of Emma Peterson's dress. Miss Peterson trembled. Try those live traps over at the trading post. I skedaddled too. At the trading post, rakes and shovels clattered. I'm fixing to find something, said Dirk, to keep jumping beans from jumping. Like Dirk Yeller, sometimes I was jumping too. Shorty wiped his brow. I know nothing about jumping beans but maybe you'd like some new boots. Dirk Yeller shook his head. Well, go try the saloon. At the saloon, Dirk's fingers were itching and a twitching. His eyes were train tunnel dark. Must be something here, he boomed, to keep rattlesnakes from rattling. Customers darted for their safety. But clear as well water, Dirk Yellow just couldn't sit still. What you need, said Swagger and Sal, is a nice cup of hot coffee. Try the jailhouse. Dirk Yeller stomped out. At the jailhouse, Dirk Yellow warned, I'm itching for something, and I won't stop until I find what I'm looking for. We're peace-loving folks, said the sheriff, and I'm certain you notice ride your horse out of town before sundown. Dirk Yeller gulped at the sheriff's coffee, then left with a slam. The sheriff spotted me. Sam, I tipped my hat and scrammed. Down the boardwalk, Dirk Yeller stomped through dust and dung. Dirk Yeller clomped, and in the middle of the street, he stopped. That's a big boy. I suddenly remembered what always helped me. I gulped down my jitters and stepped into the outlaw's shadow. Dirk Yeller's eyes drilled into my backbone. But I held my ground and stood tall. Like a world of trouble. Dirt yeller, I said, if I can show you how to stop your itching and twitching and your jumping and rattling, 
Will you promise to leave our town in peace? The outlaw gave me a snort, which I took to mean yes. Then follow me. To my relief, glory be, Dirk Yeller tromped right after me. Inside the new building, he was itching like a dog scratching for fleas. His eyes were coiled for trouble. But Miss Jenny didn't seem scared. Sweet as a pecan pie, she asked. May I help you? I'm looking for something, Dirk Yeller grumbled. To take away my cat scratch fever. To keep coyotes from baying at the moon. To keep jumping beans from jumping. To keep rattlesnakes from... Come with me. Then she led the way to a tall stack of books. This one, she asked, or perhaps this. Jerk Yeller opened a book, then started to mouth the words. I could tell he wasn't a real strong reader, but when he stumbled on a hard word, his face turned red as Ma's blue ribbon to miters. So I whispered, here, Mr. Yeller, let me help you. Together, we sounded out word after word. Soon, Dirk Yeller was turning one page, then another. And the more the outlaw read, the less he itched and twitched. The more he read, the less he jumped and jittered. Sure as shooting, Dirk Yeller was sitting still. Before long, the sun sank low. The sheriff's rattled handcuffs and warning. And then Miss Jenny called out, Closing time! The outlaw glared. I'll be back. The townsfolk froze. And I froze too. What if I'd all been all wrong? I'll be back, Dirk Yeller said, to check out more books. The people cheered. And then he winked. And to see Miss Jenny. Saddlebags full, Dirk Yellow rode off into the sunset. The wind blew a sigh of relief. Cattle started alone, and Tumbleweeds went back to tumbling along. And ever since, the library has become the busiest place in town, especially for folks with curious, relentless minds, like Dirk Yeller and me. So I hope you enjoyed that book. I really did. It's one of my favorite books. That's why I was dancing when you came in. And I want to encourage you to respond on Flipgrid. Here's the code E267AD84. And if you respond on Flipgrid, Mr. Tidmarsh will reply to every single response. Hope you enjoyed the story. Have a wonderful evening. And yeehaw.